Hello and welcome to Five Year Club video number 236. I went on vacation, so now I'm playing catch up and mustard, mostly catch up, uh, so that I actually hit my one a day goal for the year. I have four, I'm 14 videos behind, which feels a little bit intimidating, but it's really just two weeks of two videos a day. This video is number 236, and it's going to be a money saving tip. It's a practical tip that I used after my trip, which is that. If you are purchasing things for a big trip with a bunch of people and you're not used to this and you're not sure exactly how much of everything is going to be used or you're not sure exactly the nature of the trip, you're going to have a tendency to overbuy. Everybody does because people fear not having something more than they fear buying too much of it. Um, what you can do then is if you plan ahead a little bit and if you have... Um, the presence of mind during the event, whether it's a party, a vacation, or whatever, you can do things like don't put out all of what you purchased at one time. Instead, just put out a third of it, or half of it, or a fourth of it, or whatever it is, and keep the other items in reserve in a safe location that keeps them in good condition. If you do this, then after the event, uh, the items that you have not used will be in good enough condition that you can take it back to the store, return it, they can resell the item, and Everything is good. Um, now, I think some people may say like, oh, that's that's dishonest. Like if you commit to buying an item for a vacation, then you should keep it if you don't use it during the vacation because you're responsible for estimating how much you need on that vacation. And to that, I would raise these four points. Number one, Stores have generous return policies exactly because it encourages you to buy more from the store and not less exactly because it encourages you when you're on the fence about buying the item to just go ahead and buy the extra item because you know you can return it later. So they're not doing it to be nice. Uh, they have statistical models um, to determine how much is going to be returned and they run their business and their policies uh, to be sustainable for that business long term. And that's not your responsibility, that's their responsibility. So. Don't feel bad about that. Number two, if the items are still in good condition, like, you know, food with uh, unbroken seals, then they can still be resold and someone who needs them more um, will use them. And so there's not waste there. It's just uh, reallocating resources more efficiently later once you have a better idea of cost of consumption estimates. Number three is that a lot of these things, like in my case, the, the types of places I returned things uh, to were Target, Home Depot, Trader Joe's. I'm going to go to these businesses in the future. They're going to continue getting money from me. And there's an ongoing business relationship. And so I'm not like screwing them out of business by doing this return. Um, am I decreasing their profit? Sure. But in the long run, um, it's increasing their profit because I'm continuing to shop there. And that's why they have these policies in the first place. And finally, number four, when I say return stuff in these situations, I'm not talking about like using something for three years and then finding out some excuse to return it and, and, and returning it and getting your money back. I'm talking about keeping items in good condition for a short period of time. And then once the you know trip or the party or whatever resolves, you just return that remainder in good condition and it can be reused. Uh, in my case, um, we saved a few hundred dollars by returning things that were unused. And during the trip, we had the confidence that like we would have enough food to eat and there were, there were enough cleaning supplies and things like that. Um, yeah, so that's it for video number 236. It can save you a few hundred dollars just by being a little bit more aware before you go on a trip or before you throw a party about how you're going to store um, the items that you're dealing with and how you're going to keep them in good condition so that if you need to return some later, you can and they will still be in, in great condition for resale. Have a fabulous evening.